Good morning, little baby. Good morning, princess. You want some breakfast? Oh. <laughs> She's not ready to get up. Today I thought it would be fun to share with you all what I eat in a day as a vegan, just to kind of show the world that being vegan is really fun and filled with lots of amazing food. You just have to get a little bit more creative, you know? You have to have a little more fun in the kitchen, which I think is fantastic. But real talk, can you guys believe this weather we're having in LA? I don't know if there's any like fellow Angelinos that watch my videos, but this shit is unreal. It is almost like somebody made a deal with the devil to give LA the worst like end of spring, beginning of summer on record. <laughs> It's just gloomy every single morning. Like this morning, I just felt so uninspired that I literally could have just sat in bed all day watching the new Orange is the New Black. But I got it together. I got it together. I got ready. I put lashes on. That's how you know it's gonna be a productive day when you put lashes on. Like, I'm getting it today. So <laughs> let's make some breakfast. So this morning for breakfast, I'm going to be making a tofu scramble which if you're not aware of what that is, it's basically, uh, it mimics scrambled eggs or like a, um, like a deconstructed omelet, you know, where it's just like eggs and spinach and tomatoes and mushrooms and cheese and whatever. Um, but it's a vegan version. So no egg, obviously, no animal products of any kind, no milk, no cheese, uh, no meat, just plants. I know it sounds so good. It, re it really is so good. So step one is making the egg, which I'm gonna be using this organic super firm tofu from Trader Joe's. And then you're just gonna wanna crumble this all up. I gotta say, it's actually a little therapeutic. <laughs> just ripping it to pieces. This is what it should look like when it's all done. A very similar texture to scrambled eggs. But you might be thinking, uh, this looks nothing like eggs because it's not yellow. So to make it yellow, we're gonna be using the spice turmeric, which has a very intense yellow color. About like that. And then to also give it some really good flavor, I'm going to use this uh, seasoned salt. I put this on pretty much everything that I cook because it makes everything taste amazing. It's just salt with a bunch of other spices mixed in it. Um, I'm gonna put a good teaspoon or so in there. And then also some pepper. And then uh, the juice of two lemons. You could just do one. I personally love tartness in my food, so I am doing two. Because the tofu itself has absolutely zero flavor, you guys. So you're really gonna wanna do something to it besides salt and pepper, I don't think that's enough. So you gotta put a little something else in there. It really does kinda look like scrambled eggs. It's a pretty neat trick. So I'm gonna let this uh, marinate in the flavors for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to prep my other stuff that's going to go uh, in the scramble. So I'm doing onion, garlic, mushrooms, red pepper, uh, tomatoes. You could opt for fresh tomatoes, but I personally just love the flavor of the kind of like pre-cooked and canned tomatoes. And then you also don't have to deal with the wateriness that comes with using fresh tomatoes because that's, you really don't want too much water in this dish, um, or any really. <laughs> uh, some spinach. Now over to the pan. I'm gonna put this on about medium heat. And now I have all of our stuff laid out. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of butter in the pan because, I mean, eggs, at least my eggs, always growing up before I was vegan, they were very buttery. Um, if you're trying to lose weight, you can definitely skip this step because this is, this is pretty much the only thing that makes this dish like a little unhealthy. But we're just putting a little bit, really. It's not gonna hurt. We don't gotta get crazy. Just, you know, maybe a little bit more. The butter is melted, so I'm gonna put in the onion and just let this brown. A Couple minutes later, I'm gonna put in the minced garlic. And then next, I uh, threw in the mushroom. I like doing it in this order because this flavor combo right here is so fantastic, one of my faves. Just 
onion, garlic, butter, and mushrooms. Oh, it's just so good. And I think I'm going to go ahead and also throw in the red pepper. And last thing from the board are diced tomatoes. Just probably a couple spoonfuls, although I do love my tomatoes. Once all of the toppings have been cooking for a while, then we can go ahead and throw in the tofu mix. Let that cook for a few minutes together, and now we're going to add the cheesiness. So to mimic the cheese flavor, I am using nutritional yeast, which doesn't sound good, but it's, uh, it's good for you, and it does give a nice kind of cheesy flavor. I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so, maybe a tablespoon and a half, maybe two. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> And then to create a kind of cheesy sauce, I'm putting in a bit of almond milk. You don't want to go too heavy on this because, like I said, you don't want it to be liquidy. You want to keep a really good texture. Pretty much the last step is adding in the spinach. I love spinach, and I think this is a fantastic way to get in your daily dose of greens, so I put a lot. And there you have it. That's pretty much it. It totally looks like eggs, does it not? Still impressive to me, even though I've made this so many times. Um, so one last step, I am going to put just a pinch more of salt and pepper. Also, if you are a meat lover and trying to go vegan, I do recommend maybe crumbling a, a veggie sausage in here. I know Tofurky makes a really good one and field roast makes a really good one and you can just crumble it right in and I swear to you, you will not be able to tell that it's not real sausage. It is so freakishly real. I like to eat this with toast, so I'm gonna pop some of that into the toaster oven. I have been loving this lately. This is this bread um, from this company, Bread Seriously. It's based out of San Francisco and it is gluten-free sourdough bread as well as vegan, obviously. Um, and this is in the flavor sweet onion. There's little bits of like caramelized onion in it. It's so good. I'm slipping into my bathrobe because I'm honestly so paranoid about getting turmeric on my white shirt um, because it stains. It crazy stains. You'll never get it out. So <laughs> I'm uh, taking a few steps back in my day right now and putting on my robe. <laughs> While waiting for that to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. So I only eat maybe about that much because this is very, very filling because this tofu is like so high in protein. Um, so I definitely have enough for a couple more days. This definitely warms up well. So you can make a, a large batch and then heat it up for, you know, one or two days later. So with this, I'm going to top it with avocado slices and a drizzle of sriracha this is not the classic sriracha i got this from a health food store i honestly like it more and i'm a huge sriracha fan don't get me wrong i don't mean to talk down on sriracha but like this one is really good it's a little more sweet oh look at this breakfast of champions um i'm also drinking this lacroix uh, this is the cantaloupe and pink grapefruit flavor, which I originally thought, what the hell? That's really weird, but I really like it. Kind of a weird pairing. I started drinking this while I was cooking, so now I just have it and I'm going to drink it. But there you have it. Looks really good, right? Guys, Boogie is still sleeping. Baby, we slept all night together. How precious is she? Oh. <laughs> the universe has heard my complaints and they have delivered their son. <laughs> I need to go outside. But first lunch. So for lunch today, I'm having some leftover soup. And this is a recipe that I experimented with a couple of days ago, and I made so much, you guys. I'm gonna be eating this for a whole week. I call this spicy sweet potato stew, and it's basically like a tomato bisque mixed with sweet potato 
and then it also has uh, black beans and red lentils. All right, so for a little recap on how I made this. Uh, first, you're just gonna need a really large pot, and in it you're gonna put vegetable broth, diced tomatoes, carrot slices, and one large chopped sweet potato. Then in another pan, you're gonna brown one large sweet onion, add in some minced garlic and chopped red pepper, and saute that for 10 minutes. Once you have both of the mixtures complete, then just go ahead and remove them from heat and combine the pan into the pot and just let it sit. Once it's cooled down a little bit, you wanna pour this into a high speed blender and then blend it thoroughly and then pour it right back into the pot. And you just kinda of wanna dilute this with water until you get your ideal kind of soup texture. Some people like thin, some people like thick. Just add as much or as little water as you desire. And then for the flavor, I'm going to be adding some maple sugar. You can use normal sugar or brown sugar would be really good for this as well. Uh, just a couple tablespoons. And then some apple cider vinegar for a kick, some lemon juice for tartiness, and sriracha for spiciness. And then of course, just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then just to add in the remaining ingredients, I'm throwing in some sweet potato chunks, some black beans, these are just from a can, really quick and easy, and some red lentils. And then I just cook this on low for about an hour or until the potatoes begin to soften. And to put on top, I'm gonna be making some sour cream. So you can currently buy vegan sour cream alternatives, but I am honestly not a fan. I've never tasted one that I've liked. However, I do have a little bit of a hack with one other um, vegan cheese product. I like taking the Kite Hill cream cheese, which I don't think they make a sour cream, or at least I haven't had it or seen it anywhere yet. But I like taking their, their cream cheese. If I have just like a little bit left, like I used this for bagels this week, I have a little bit left, and I'm going to transform it into sour cream. So to do this, I'm adding half the juice of a lemon. That's your sour. A tiny splash of apple cider vinegar. Also your sour. Okay, and some salt. Can I just confide in you guys that before I went vegan, sour cream was literally one of my favorite things ever. And to this day, I would still say it's kind of the thing that I miss the most. I'm really grossed out by dairy products and I want nothing to do with it, so it is easy to avoid, but I just still have that like association, like happy association with it, unfortunately. And you see, it gets really nice and creamy. It's like perfect sour cream texture. The soup has been heated up. It looks a little bit more appetizing now. It didn't look so good coming straight out of the fridge. Um, it's a really, if you like thick soup, like, mmm, it's just so hearty and delicious. I'm actually going to top this with corn chips, kind of similar to how you would chili, because this, this is kind of like a sweet potato chili almost, because it's a tomato base with beans and, you know, plus the sweet potatoes is a little bit of a twist, but I'm going to put some little crunchy curls in here, kind of, you know, something different. And a dollop of our sour cream. Perfect. And there you have it. A nice, quick, and easy filling lunch. Oh, look who's finally awake. Buki. Buki. So I'm actually getting ready to go run some errands, so I probably won't eat anything else until dinner time. Um, I actually used to think that eating a lot of small meals was the way to go. I thought, you know, it like speeds up your metabolism. It's just really good to kind of graze throughout the day instead of gorging and having like large meals. That just seemed illogical to me. But recently I've been researching the benefits of eating less times a day. So basically the theory behind this is, I mean, it's not even a theory. It's pretty much a fact, <laughs> but, um, it's just that the more you can give your digestive system a break, the better it is for your body. So there's a lot of benefits to fasting and um, all of that, which I don't want to get into in this video. But basically, I'm trying not to snack. I'm trying to just have really 
filling meals, get all of my calories within my meals, and not snack. By any means, if I get really hungry, obviously I will have a little snack, like a little bar or like something kind of healthy. Um, but I've pretty much cut out snacking or cut out small meals. I've just been having three large meals. However, I am really craving a lemonade right now. This is kind of random, but I think I'm gonna go get a lemonade on the way to running errands. Um, I might give you guys some little outfit details really quick because I really am feeling my outfit. So this top, which says Lover on it, is from Revolve. I'm not sure what the designer was, but I will link it in my description. My jeans are from Citizens of Humanity. They're like super high waist. Love them. Uh, these little star shoes, which are everything, are from Aldo. And yes, of course, they are leather free. This little bangle that says live in the moment from the Mindful Company. Really amazing daily reminder for me because I really struggle to live in the moment. Then my rings, uh, this one with my initials is from Bobble Bar and this little star one is from Adornmond. And on my ears, I have some little gold hoops and on my lips, I have Tarte uh, lipstick in Surf's Up. I pretty much only wear this lipstick. It's the only lipstick I've worn for like the past month or two. Um, my nails is LVX uh, Vermilion, and I think that's it for the details. <laughs> Hit the spot. So good. So good. Mmm. I have not had lemonade in a minute. Oh, it is so much later. So much later in the day, you guys. It is almost midnight. I was gone for a really long time. I don't know what happened, but whew. I'm really tired, feeling really lazy, so I'm gonna whip up a really quick dinner. But I want to have a good dinner still because I've, I've kind of had like the whole time I was out running errands and stuff, I just kept thinking like, oh, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna make a really good dinner, and then I'm gonna chill, and I'm gonna watch Orange is the New Black. I'm super into it right now, so I really want to watch that, but... I'm looking a little rough. My eyelash is falling off. <laughs> Literally, you know you've had a hard day when your damn eyelash starts falling off. Anyway, so I am thinking I'm going to whip up some stir fry with kind of like yakisoba noodles. And that's it. I mean, I think I'm going to use this. I don't know why I say think because I am going to use this little frozen packet of Asian vegetables so the veggies are heating up in the wok and then these are the noodles that I'm gonna be using these are just from my local Japanese market they're just like the uh, yakisoba noodles kind of like I really wanted to find chow mein but I think these are close enough pretty similar they're just like a wheat noodle about eight minutes later the veggies are looking like they're done so I'm gonna add in some sauce I'm using this Island Soyaki blend from Trader Joe's. Just put a bit of that. As well as some Thai chili garlic paste. Just don't want to make it too spicy, but mm, about like that. Maybe a little bit more. Kick it up a notch. Buki. I think Bookie got in here. Are you kidding? <laughs> Girl, you trying to make some tea? Huh? You want some coffee? You want some tea? Oh, Chibi came to the rescue. How cute. <laughs> and last step, adding in the noodles, which I cooked in a separate dish. And then just toss it up. Oh yes, I have been waiting for this exact moment, dreaming of this moment. Well, I think that is about it for what I ate today. I mean, I'm going to eat this, but I know I'm going to eat this and then just pass out. So uh, I'm going to wrap up the video now. I hope that this brought you guys some meal inspo or that you'll just, you know, get something out of watching this video. But, yeah, 
I'm gonna go. I will see you really soon. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Bye.